one of the things that I do when I play with puppies like this is I wear gloves so that if they bite me, I don't say ow. Because what I don't want, I don't want the puppy to think that it's beating me by biting my hands. How the puppy beats me in the tug of war game is important to teach the dog what I want them to end up doing, okay? So right now she's got a bite. Can you grab her leash for me? Grab her leash. Now, she's on a flat collar. We would never do this on a prong collar because that would, that would punish her for pulling. But letting her pull on that will build drive. So would pulling on a harness. This is okay, um, but we want to be careful we don't pull too hard. We don't let her choke herself, okay? Ready? So, nope. I want to stop her from biting the leash. There we go. Okay, so we've teased her a little bit. Let her get a bite. Now, remember what I talked about? What I'm looking for is for her to hold it quietly without whining. And I'm going to touch her. None of this is meant to hurt her. It's meant to make her realize that the touching doesn't matter. What matters is her biting. Good. I'm going to tell her she's a good girl. I'm going to come down and I'm going to touch her paws. Good. Good. And when she does what I want, which is quietly biting hard, She's kind of getting chewy, which I don't like, so she's not going to win for chewing. Good. She was doing better before. So she's getting a little frantic now because she can't figure out how to win. Okay. Whoop. <laughs> Grab her leash. Okay. So what she wants to win? What do you mean? What does she want in to terms win. of winning? What does that mean to her? What do you think? Getting the toy. Getting the toy. It's possessing it. Hold her back, hold her back, hold her back. You gotta hold her. She needs to be able to pull. There you go. Hold her back a little bit harder. There you go. Nope. There you go, good, good. And when she looks up at me quietly, that's when she wins. She wins right here. I don't let her win over here or over there. I don't let her win by chewing or whining. She wins by holding it, even if I have to be really good on timing. She's gonna win by holding it quietly and firmly and as far back in her mouth as, as she can. So I won't let her win on her front teeth. And I won't let her have the handle. Because if she learns, she starts to learn that that's easy to win, then that's what she'll bite for. Hold back. Hold her back. I want her to not be able to come closer than that right there. Okay? Don't let her move. I mean, <laughs> let her move, but don't let her pull you around. Okay, see that right there? She bit my hands twice, and I was able to just go, meh. Nothing. Oh, it's going to rain on us. It already is. Okay, hold her. Hold. Don't move your feet. Good. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Touch her again. Yes, good girl. Now she gets to win the toy. Okay, remember, same thing. Don't let her pull you around. Good. None of this is to hurt her. Good. Oh, you lost it. It's just so she gets used to being touched. Oh, good girl. Does that all make sense to you, what we're doing? It's the way you need to play with puppies. Okay? You gotta have all this stuff in mind. Hold her. There you go. Hold, hold. Good. Good. 
a little bit different toy. I'm doing something here when I tell her good. I'm telling her good to predict that she's doing the right thing and that'll make it so she wins. Okay? Good. Good. See how that works? Good. Oh, that's how she learns what good means. Good. I'm pulling pretty hard. Oh, good. She's got a good grip. She's a strong pup. So what, what I'm doing right there, she's looking right in my face and she's pulling and when she pulls she wins. That's going to teach her that her wins come from up here. They don't come from if she's biting over here and trying to twist around behind me or anything like that. The winds come from up here by my face. So she should be comfortable there, because that's where she wins. Have you seen Lion King too? No, I don't think so. I started it. laying down. Hold her back. Hold her. Hold her. Hold her. Okay, you're not holding her. Reel in some leash. Reel in some leash and fix her leash so it's not underneath her legs. Okay, what I want you to do, plant your feet like this and put the leash behind you like see, and sit down on it. Point your, point your front toe at me. Uh, so like, like if I'm there, point, point the front foot straight at me. No, no, I, my jacket. Okay, now, are you sitting on the leash? No, put the leash around behind you. Take your back hand and bury it into your hip and take your front hand and hold leash. Don't let any more leash out than that. Okay, bend your knees. There you go, good. Now just hold. She shouldn't be able to pull you forward when you're like that. Good. Good girl. Oh, good. Good girl. Good. Good. That's good. I think that should be your last one. Okay. Do you want to walk her back up? Put her away? Yep, you can take the leaf, you can take the toy up with you just so she has something to something to chase up there. Good boy. Thank you, Siggy. Thank you for watching this session with Batilda Vomhouse Outax. Batilda is one of the puppies that we've retained from our bee litter from Shakira and Bax. And we're super stoked about her and the other litter mates that are in our current uh, training program. We are having a ton of fun with them, as you can see. And we're having a chance to talk to our kids about puppy training, which is always fun. So if you're interested in working on this type of bite development and drive development with your puppy, please reach out to us through our website, www.outaxcanine.com. We have weekly group sessions for bite work, as well as obedience 
both Saturday mornings and Wednesday nights, and we're available for consultation and private sessions throughout the week, as well as board and train. Semper Audax.